Terrell, I think this pitching staff last week in Statesboro for, for Notre Dame gave up like a total of seven runs. What do you know about them, and what are you all talking about as you approach going up against these guys this weekend? Um, we know they have, they have a great pitching staff. Like you said, they have some really good ones. They trust. They got some veterans, like Luke mentioned. I mean, they got guys that can, you know, have been through it. They know how to work and stuff. So I would say just bring our, our A game, you know, keep on doing what we've been doing. I think we should be just fine. How excited would you and the team say you are for, you know, going up against such a great pitching staff and you're one of the better, if not the best, hitting teams in the country? Oh, this will be an awesome weekend for sure. I mean, I'm excited for Lizzie Nelson. It's probably going to be as loud as he gets. And honestly, I mean, two great teams, obviously, they've been doing it all year long, and so have we. But I'm really excited. You know, like I said, we're great pitching staff and a great hitting team. So it just comes down to who wants it the most, honestly, you know, who competes every at bat, every pitch. So I think we'll see what happens with this weekend. Drell, kind of the same thing I asked Luke, but what would make Tennessee such an attractive place for someone who's looking to transfer at this point? Um, I mean, there's many things. I mean, I'm a, like I said, the coaching staff, they got guys that, you know, just want, just want the best for you, put you in the best situation for you to succeed. They put multiple hours after practice. I mean, I think they spend more time with us than they do with their own wives or whatever, honestly. So, I mean, I think the fact that they care that much and stuff like that so it shows the character and, like, the type of players that they want and also, you know, how much they care. So I feel like the other than the coaches, the fans, I mean, probably, I mean, hands down, I think it's the best well, fan base that we have in college ball. I mean, fans really want you want to just succeed as well. So I think that just brings it all together. <clears throat> Drew, I know when, when you got here, you were overcoming an injury and you spent kind of a year just kind of fighting through that and everything. Did that make it tougher for you to sort of feel at home and feel comfortable here? Or did that sort of give you a better chance to take a step back and kind of really get comfortable being here? Honestly, it kind of like you said, like you said, um, it helped me out to take a step back and help me and get comfortable with it. I mean, like going back to Mike's question, I mean, Vol Nation made, made it feel like it was home. There was never like where I feel like, oh, I'm not home. People don't want me here or anything. So I think I just took a step back, realized, hey, like I'm a good player. I know where I am. And just took a like, just a mentality reset. So I just took a step back, reset everything, and just started working and wanted everything I needed to do mentally in my game or anything. But I don't think there was ever a problem with me not feeling a hole whatsoever because Vol Nation always made it feel like it was home for me. Drill, at what point was it maybe over the past couple of years where you realized just how much better this team was and, and how – much different things were going to be? Because I know that, you know, things were kind of, a couple of years ago was a weird year, and then last year you, you got, y'all kind of emerged. At what point did you realize, like, we, we got dudes here now, like, we're going to be good? Uh, honestly, I mean, throughout the fall, I mean, facing guys like Dolander, Chase Burns, Blake Table, facing those guys in the, fall, in the fall is not fun. I mean, I can only feel for what the other teams are going through. So, I mean, we have guys in the fall like that. And then when we went to sit down in Texas when we faced some really good competitions like Texas, Oklahoma, and Baylor. You know, we got – they're freshmen pretty much, but they're not pitching like it. So, knowing that we have guys like that, especially Christian Moore, Blake Bird, these are all guys that are freshmen that are playing like they've been here for like four years already. So, that shows like the type of like maturity we have on the team and on the type of like what we're capable of doing on and off the field as well, like defense and off the field as well. So, I think probably – like second week into the season, I'm like, okay, yeah, like this team could be like really, really good and do some really special things. Any more questions? Uh, thoughts? All right, thanks, Drew. No problem. Appreciate it. Thank you, Drew. No problem.